All right, guys, I am thrilled to share this fillet tutorial with you. This is a paddlefish, the American paddlefish, the one and only. Um, I caught him this morning, or her this morning, I think. Uh, so we're just going to dive in. I'm going to show you how to fillet them, how to get the most out of this fish. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is we are actually going to gut it because I am hoping that this fish has some roe in it because paddlefish caviar is one of my favorite things in the whole world. Oh, it's a little bit unyieldy. Um, so when you're, when you're gutting a fish, start at the, the vent here. And unfortunately, oh, alas, I think we got a male. Um, we're about to find out, but I left my favorite fillet knife at my cousin's house. So we're making do with what we got. Um, all right. Make an incision here all the way up to the top. Um, of the chin, like so. Try to stab it away. Now, let's see. Yep, I believe that we did get a male. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get any row out of this one. That's okay. More reason to keep trying. All right. In that case, we're just going to flip it back over so that I can put these guts into my trash. Set that here. Now, the nice thing about paddlefish is they're cartilaginous, so they don't have um, bones. So you get a super high yield of meat on them. They're very simple to fillet. Um, if this was a female, you would have, or if it was a female with eggs, um, you would have a very pronounced row sac. It would be full of um, black eggs. Very distinctive um, thing, you know. It's once you get one, you you know what it is. Um, so just like with any fish, we're just going to pull this out carefully of where you're cutting so you don't get your own hand. Yeah, I see. It's like we got a manual, I think. I think that's what this is an indication of. Um, snagging is one of those things that uh, I always feel quite surprised. <laughs> When I catch something, um, particularly when I catch something that I intend to catch. Um, now, if I was maybe a bit more industrious, um, I might keep the liver on this fish and try it. Um, I have not tried that before. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll try it one day. Uh, there is some question about fish offal as they call it, um, about, you know, potential toxins and, and whatnot. Um, so, as, as usual, you know, you want to be knowledgeable and aware of the water quality of the place where you are getting your fish. All right. Just about got these out. They have a lot of connective tissue in their stomach, and you just kind of, kind of got to work around it like that. All right, we'll just clean our knife here. My last video, I forgot my little, little towel. Right, so it's really simple. For laying a paddlefish. 
Um, let's cut that out of the way. Just like you do with any other fish, you're going to start at the shoulder, make an incision, and cut down the collar, like so. all the way to the spine and uh, even though I did bleed this fish already there's going to be more blood uh, so fair warning I guess it's too late at this point um, cuttlefish have a lot of blood more so than um, a lot of other fish that I fillet alright but that's okay we will rinse the meat off It'll come out beautiful and unique as paddlefish always is. Right. Now, this is where it's really simple. We're simply going to take our knife in and along the backbone. As I said before, just like any other fish. Very simple, nothing complicated here. I'll pop up just a little bit. Back. All right. Now I know some guys, they don't really even use this the very end of the tail because most of it is red meat and as you know, red meat is not typically the best tasting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have I already failed? I think the answer is yes. Oops. All right. I've done something very silly, and I've actually cut into the other side of the filet on accident. That's okay. You know, you're going to make mistakes like that when you're flaying big fish like this. That is all right. I will salvage that. Not going to be a big deal. We're not going to lose a lot of meat from it. So. There we go. All right. You're going to want to find that spine, work along it, like that. Stomach lining. Like so. I think I'm I'm just gonna pop it off here. Um and really I think I, I could have taken all that meat. Um now this just complete this cut. Now this is going to not look very good uh, in its current form just because there's still blood on the meat. But we're going to wash that off and you will see how beautiful these fillets are. So that's one side, you know, not too bad. Just a little bit here, you know, made that one mistake. Um, but let's go ahead and do the other side. Um, This, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes with their, uh, their spines because they're not difficult to cut through. You know, I have cut through paddlefish spines before on accident, and that is uh, just an unfortunate 
kind of thing, when you're filleting a fish that doesn't have those real tough bones for you to go by. amazing actually how much how much more blood a paddlefish has in it than oh goodness well that was some professional work there <laughs> oh no big deal oh just I'm showing you guys all the mistakes just making sure you get the full full mistake Pro, um, blooper reel on this one Right, so I got my little cooler. I'm just gonna put them in there. Should have done that in the first place. All right. Let's get this here. We'll just cut this away off. And then we'll trim this one up and then we'll rinse them out. Rinse the blood out. And, uh, and things will start looking a whole lot nicer than they do now. And like I said, um, you know, I, I started uh, bleeding this fish out and uh, didn't quite bleed it out all the way, but not a big deal, um, especially because I'm going to be brining the majority of these fillets. And the brining process really helps mellow out any flavors you might get because paddlefish they have a lot of fat and can turn fishy in the freezer for whatever reason so we'll just go ahead and Trimmed off there. All right, now let's get our water. Get our water going after I trim out this little bit. There we go. Perfect. And this is just fat. It's nothing but fat on top there. Um, we'll get some water. Okay, that's better. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty disappointed that I didn't get any row. However, the good news is, whoo, we got these beautiful fillets instead, <laughs> of which I did not do the best job cutting. Um, but we can trim them down further. Some of this excess fat, just trim that off a little bit. Don't want to go off trimming too much. You know. Want to use as much of this as possible. Like so. And of course, on the on this side, I will uh, work around this thin, like so. Yeah, and beyond that, there's really not a whole lot else. Um, the other important thing, and what I'll do is, since I don't have my, my good fillet knife with me, um, I will just cut off a small piece and show you how to remove the red meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate the belly the belly is going to be its own smoked delicacy. And we will skin that separately. That's your belly. And now what's really cool is you have these beautiful 
thick fillets that you can cut. Now, the paddlefish, they have a line of red meat, and I do recommend cutting that off. You will see it here, fat and red meat, so go ahead and skin them like so. Then I don't know, there might be a, a method similar to how you skin a catfish that you could do with these. I have not done it that way. Oh, I'm aching for my fillet knife. This is just painful. We're just gonna do this the complete opposite way of how you're supposed to. A boning knife is not ideal. That is what I have at the moment. Right, so, you'll notice the difference between the meat here and the meat here. Beautiful, nice, white. Um, we can even trim off a little bit of this. Like that, just get it, just get it perfect, you know? Now, what we're gonna do is, as you see, there's a little line here and through here, and we're just gonna really cut that out. Just a, a little cut, like that, and it reveals the beautiful meat underneath. And just a little bit of trim right there. And we're gonna do this for the whole filet, for all of it. And that is going to improve the meat quality Make sure that you end up with a superb tasting paddlefish for your smoker or your grill or a little bit of gumbo, whatever you kind of prefer to do. Like that. See, that is already looking so much better. We'll take just a little bit more of a V cut. There we go. And when I freeze these, sometimes I will even split them like that but i want to i want to keep these whole and have some nice big smoked fillets um, we'll put this in a brine for four to five days and yeah that is how you fillet a paddlefish um the next one i catch uh maybe i will make a video about um harvesting the roe and the whole process with that um, but until then uh best of luck snagging I hope you guys get a paddlefish. We will see you on the next one.